Hello everyone, welcome to Grade Up. Myself Nihal Naveen and I will be your tutor for the subject Geotechnical Engineering. Okay, so let's begin. Geotechnical Engineering is very important for scoring a great rank in GATE. Okay, because around 10 to 12 marks are asked every year from this topic. And our main focus for preparing these videos will be towards the GATE exam. Okay, though you can also, this video can also be helpful for other competitive exams like ES and other PSUs which take their own exams okay so gate as you know it is conducted by iits so you just know the level of preparation that you have to do okay and the questions are very standard as they are created by the professors of iits themselves okay so you have to just focus on the concepts first so let's begin introduction to soil mechanics and foundation engineering In this video, we are going to discuss firstly the weightage analysis of previous year gate and we will also be seeing the different books which can be recommended and consulted and we will also see the syllabus in great detail, okay. So let's start. Just keep your senses open and do watch the full video. As I told the weightage analysis for geotechnical engineering, in the year 2018, okay, in paper 1 it was asked for around 14 marks, okay. And in paper 2, it was asked for 15 marks. In the year 2017, around 13 marks, it was asked for both the papers. In the year 2016 and 2015, you can see that around 14 to 15 marks are asked. So in general, around 14 to 15 marks out of 100. Okay, it is 14 to 50 percent. That is very huge percentage. It is asked from geotechnical engineering. Okay. Now this geotechnical engineering is divided into two parts. First is the soil mechanics part and another is the foundation part. We will be completing first the soil mechanics portion and then we will move on to the foundation portion. Okay. So you know that it is very important from, from gate point of view. Now let's talk first about the gate. Gate stands for as you know that graduate aptitude test in engineering. Okay. And it's for the graduate who have done their undergraduate. Okay. And you can go for either MTech after giving this gate from the different IITs or NITs or you can also go for PSUs that is public sector undertakings. They may be bail, sale, okay or in civil generally they have like NHAI and you have IOCL, okay HPCL, NBCC all these are civil centered. So it is preferable if you go into the civil centered that is NHEI or NBCC, it, you will be at a higher position okay and you will have more value because it is civil concentrated. In IOCL or HPCL generally they have more students from the mechanical branch okay. So it is recommended and that is why they have, the rank is, the rank for NHEI is less than 50 okay, the rank required to get into NHEI and you also you have to perform well in the interviews also okay. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from Kratok. So just look, look at some of the best books which can be consulted. The first is by Gopal Ranjan and ASR Rao. Okay, the title is Basic and Applied Soil Mechanics. Okay, Basic and Applied Soil Mechanics. And if you want to go into the basic theory from the beginning, you can consult this book. Okay. And for gate, I, I recommend that you don't study everything. Okay, you don't need to study everything. Just you have to focus on the main concepts, and you have to first analyze the previous year papers. How they are, how the pattern is. Okay, the pattern is very important for, for before starting your preparation. Okay, so just go through the uh, previous year question papers, and you will come to know uh, which topic is more important. And once you see this video, you will surely know that which is important. What to learn and what to leave and the uh, problems which you are facing like you are not able to understand a particular concept okay then you can recommend these books okay so for better clarity this will give you better clarity and also as some question bank at the end so that uh, it may be useful directly questions are asked from ES and gate okay so you can highlight on this the second book is by Dr. K. R. Arora okay 
This is also good for theoretical and conceptual clarity and it also has question after every subject okay for the particular subject so you can go through this and it has both the foundation and the soil mechanics part and if you want to go into a detailed analysis you can go for vns murthy okay the title is textbook of soil mechanics and foundation engineering by vns murthy and it also has many practical applications and example given in great detail so if you want to go for detailed analysis then you can recommend this book or you can consult this book okay now coming to what we are going to start with what is soil okay the whole geotechnical engineering is based basically concentrated on what is soil it is actually the study of soil so soil is an unconsolidated material okay it is it results from disintegration due to either weathering agents like wind water rain etc so it is all it is an unconsolidated material resulting from disintegration of rocks and the factors may be like wind water as i told now what is soil mechanics soil mechanics is the actually the application of mechanics and hydraulics in soil okay it is that branch of civil engineering that is concerned with the application of principles of mechanics okay that is physics basically and hydraulics to engineering problems related to soil okay for example before construction you have to first analyze the soil before construction of any building or any dam we have to go for the soil analysis that it, if it will be able to bear the strength of bear the weight bear the load of the construction okay so that is very important from the geotechnical point of view now coming to a types of weathering weathering may be either due to physical weathering or chemical weathering in physical weathering as the name suggests it is it is due to physical reasons like running water heavy wind temperature changes rainfall okay the man has no influence on this okay and the second is by chemical weathering that is due to change in the mineral composition of rocks and minerals okay so due to oxidation it may be due to oxidation hydration leaching carbonation etc okay this may lead to change in mineral composition you have to keep in mind now on the basis of transporting agencies also soils may be classified that may be alluvial soil alluvial soil they are carried by deposited by rivers okay this generally you can find in the northeastern part of the country alluvial soil because you have great number of rivers so naturally the deposit is more by the rivers so alluvial soil is formed and it is very fertile from the fertility point of view okay good for crops second is the lacustrine soil the word lacustrine itself means lakes okay relating to lakes so these are deposited by lakes the third is the marine soil now deposited by sea water as we know that the water of sea water is marine the fourth we have eolian soil another common term is used for this that is that is loess okay these are generally deposited by wind and the fifth is glacial soil as you can see the name itself it is deposited by glaciers okay so moving on let's see the de first the detailed syllabus which is very important you have to first know the syllabus what you are going to study in the soil mechanics for before beginning of any subject i would recommend you to first go through the syllabus in great detail okay that will give you a clear overview we'll begin with soil properties okay here we will be studying about different properties of soil and like the index properties and we'll also be focusing on uh, the different ratios porosity and void ratio water content of the soil okay water content porosity that is n and then void ratio v okay e actually e is equal to volume of void by volume of solid and then we will be discussing about index properties okay the grain size analysis 
all this will be covered in great detail and this is very important from the numerical point of view because every year many questions are asked from this part okay and this is actually the base okay so unless you understand the basic soil properties you won't be able to move ahead and you will also be studying about different types of unit weight okay unit weight of soil there are basically five types of unit weight you will be studying in great detail and then you will also be studying about specific gravity that is g of soil and different relations density index and so on okay the next chapter will be classification of soil classification of soil will basically will focus on the indian standard method okay is method of soil classification and here we will be uh, studying about the liquid limit the plastic limit okay and how to classify soil between coarse grained soil and fine grained soil on the basis of their size okay we will be studying about sedimentation analysis for fine grained soil and mm, particle size analysis or grain size analysis on coarse grain soil okay and we will we'll be trans, uh, then we will classify the soil accordingly like if it is a gravel sand silt or clay or gravelly or uh, silty sand uh, silty gravel or there are different terms okay you will be studying in detail about each and every term our third topic will be this will be a small chapter that is soil structure here we will be studying about the soil basic soil structure and soil clay mineralogy actually about different types of minerals which are present in soil clay mineralogy okay we will be studying about kaolinite elite montmorillonite the black cotton soil okay and why it has the expansive character and these are very important the theoretical part okay the next chapter will be soil compaction this will be also very important from the gate point of view and here we will be focusing on the standard proctor test and the modified proctor test and their comparison and we will also be seeing on the zero void line and saturation line okay so standard proctor test or light proctor test modified test okay and zero void line omc that is optimum moisture content we will learn the concept of omc and we'll also learn about the maximum dry density that is gamma d max both theoretical and practical values okay and the next topic will be stresses in soil now this topic is very important okay because further that soil consolidation in foundation also this stress in soil is very important unless you understand the base you won't be able to move ahead so just focus on this chapter more here we'll be studying about the concept of effective stresses and pore water pressure and we'll be studying the different cases like the change in water table what happens to the effective stress okay about the total stress about the effective stress and how the pore water pressure is affected by water table okay next we'll be studying about the seepage analysis okay how effective stress changes with the seepage and we will study about seepage head critical hydraulic gradient and so on and about the piping failure okay all these concepts will be studied in seepage and we'll also be taking some cases and in permeability part you will be uh, studying how the soil is permeable we'll, we'll be studying about different methods to find permeability like the falling head test the constant hand test and so on the capillarity test okay and you will study about the field methods as well like the dupuits theory and the themes theory for um, aquifers okay a next part will be soil consolidation in soil consolidation you will be studying about uh, different types of coefficient which are used cc cv okay coefficient of compression then coefficient of volume compressibility that is noted by mv okay then coefficient of consolidation and you will be studying about different types of time factor okay and percent of consolidation and and different factors okay this is also very important because questions are asked every year be it any competitive exam okay next is the shear strength of the soil now shear strength of the soil here we will be studying about different types of tests we will be studying first on the from the strength of materials point of view like about the principal stresses and then we will be focusing on different types of shear strength test like the direct shear test or the uh, triaxial test and the un unconfined test okay we will be studying in detail the vane shear test which is the field method so this is also important now coming to the foundation engineering part okay 
the first will is thing that we will study here is the stress distribution stress di distribution we will studying about bosnes equation okay and then we will studying about westergaard equation and we will study the different uh, cases of this and how they are comparable uh, some objective questions are asked from this though it is not that much important from gate for, from gate point of view the second will be the earth pressure here we will be studying about active earth pressure passive earth pressure and earth pressure at rest and we will also be studying the concept of uh, both coulomb and rankine okay and we'll be studying in detail about the uh, retaining walls and the sheet pile walls okay next we'll be covering the slope stability here we'll be studying about the finite infinite slopes okay finite slopes infinite slopes stability number this is also very important okay and we'll seeing some methods to find the slope and slope stability and we'll uh, also calculate the factor of safety for some some of these cases if the soil is stable or not okay and the most important chapter for foundation engineering will be shallow foundation okay shallow foundation and deep foundation every year you can expect around uh, two to three questions from these both parts shallow foundation and deep foundation in shallow foundation we'll be studying about the bearing capacity bearing bearing pressure and we'll also be focusing on different types of modes of failures okay the general shear failure the punching shear failure local shear failure and so on and we'll also be finding some of the methods to determine the bearing capacity we'll be studying about the terzaghi methods okay and the factors which affect the ultimate bearing capacity the cone penetration method and how the water table affects the bearing capacity all these will be covered in great detail and we'll also study about the some of the settlement uh, that is taking place in clay due to presence of foundation or due, due to settlement settlement in sand due to foundation so you will also be studying about the settlement criteria the next will be for deep foundation deep foundation you will mainly consist of wells and piles okay here we will be focusing on piles mainly you will be studying about the end bearing piles the skin friction piles and under rimmed piles you will be studying their concept how they affect the soil and the structure and you will also be studying about the group of piles and how they act combinedly okay and how the how they they are more effective okay this will be for deep foundation and finally the last chapter will be on soil exploration you will be studying about the different types of samplers which are used okay in soil exploration part and there will be different methods of exploration also and you will study about different types of ratios like area ratio inside clearance ratio outside clearance ratio okay sometimes uh, even in this year it was asked uh, from the one of the ratios in the gate okay it is an objective question so just you have to remember the formulas so we come to the end of this syllabus though it is a huge syllabus you have to keep patience and just keep faith in your, yourself and it is actually a very easy subject there is more concepts okay so just focus on the videos and you will it, this the path will be really easier for you i guarantee you that so we come to the end of this video hope you enjoyed it in the upcoming video we will be starting with the first chapter that will be the properties of soil okay as i have already told we will discuss about the different types of uh, ratios like void ratio porosity water content unit weight specific gravity and all in detail and we'll also uh, concentrate on some numericals from previous year gate and ies and other competitive exams as well okay and our main focus here is not to teach you everything okay here we have to just make you ready for giving your gate exams and securing a very good rank in gate okay so we'll try to extract the maximum from minimum time we are that we are giving okay so just do watch the all the videos and you can also practice free quizzes at grade up and always be a grade higher okay and you can clear all your doubts you can also download this app from google play and it is available so all the best and hope to see you in the next video thank you